And where's that other... There you go. Go gather that bloody wolf right there. That that wolf has been decomposing for about seven days. <laughs> not joking at all, though. That, that sounds like a joke. Not a joke. He has pretty much been decomposing for seven days. It's kind of disgusting. We're going to go gather these wolf parts. Hopefully we don't run into any highwaymen <laughs> along the way. Oh man, wouldn't that be awesome if you just if you had a long enough road, you just have highwaymen sort of fucking around, busting a move and all that crap. That would be annoying. Also, what the balls is that? That is annoying. Why has no one filled that in? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> there we go. Is someone gonna allow you to do that? Let's speed this up. So <laughs> Uh, there we go, beautiful. Also, we need to mine out this remaining bit here, do we? I don't know. I feel like the wall's going to be about here, so maybe not. Also, maybe we'll have a road going towards this, which might lead to a bridge crossing. If we ever want to expand, that'd be pretty cool. Also, it's dusk. That is an unfortunate situation to be in. Oh, well, he's gathered a decent amount of resources, like some animal hide, some animal fat. It's pretty much all I really wanted, just a, a lot of very useful doohickeys and goods and stuff like that. We want to keep our eye open because at the moment, uh, we've pretty much been surrounded by enemies. I can't find any berries. Oh, no, I don't want you to do that. I just want you to gather corpses, good sir. Is there an option for you to do this? Actually, we probably shouldn't allow that option because there's lots of dead skeletons across the river. <laughs> so, oh man, I never thought I'd say that before. That is uh, quite a grim statement. Also, uh, gather the resources of this uh, ravager. Hopefully he'll drop an axe or something. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling stuffy again. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. <clears throat> Every time I talk for an extended period of time, I start to build up a very... I don't want to talk about it, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely revolting, okay? I don't know what's wrong with it, though. I think I need to go to uh, the doctors and ask, excuse me, but whenever I talk for an extended period of time... <laughs> what a weird excuse. No, no way, I'm not, not wasting a doctor's time with uh, that bullshit. <clears throat> Go back down here, sir. Maybe I can ask him to um, ask him for medical advice. Maybe he can help me treat these patients, these dead people. Hopefully we have the ability to resurrect the dead at some point, but they come back as an animated monster. And they're still your friend, but they're essentially a zombie. So you gotta, you got to watch out, really. Really, you got to watch out, okay? Oh, man. Apologies, guys. Very much apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. For those that are wondering, actually, I say ladies and gentlemen a lot. Um, it's because I feel like saying guys, even though this day and age, uh, it's universally known as people, you know, as everyone. It just is. Excuse me, you're gonna... Nope, apparently he does not wish to partake in these manners. Um, yeah, but, um, I yeah, I know it's universally known as sort of the, oh yeah, it's an everyone. Like, you go up to a group of people, even though there's... A uh, mix of different genders, being male or female, obviously. Or if you're both, I um, don't know. What a weird subject. What a touchy subject to go into right there. Um, you know, people's like, oh, hey, guys, let's go to the blah, blah, blah. No one really takes notice of it. But you know what? I'd be like, if I was a woman, I'd be like, excuse me, I'm not a dude. Because, you know, it, it, it usually refers to, to men. At least that's what it was primarily used for until it was just generally known as a multicultural thing. Multi-gender thing. Once again, subjects, really random. Uh, came out of nowhere, though. I'm actually curious what you guys think about it, though. I, in my opinion, I feel like saying ladies and gentlemen, even though it's much more time-consuming on the voice, it's just something better to say. Also, I feel like I said this before last episode or something like that. Also, there's no storage space for stone-tipped arrows. That is uh, not good for us at all. We do have a carpenter. Oh, no, it was his May, but we did change her into something of a much greater purpose and or power. We're going to put the weapon crates here. Because this is going to be the barracks, anyway. So I'm going to put weapon crates along this side. I'm going to put armors along this side. Uh, being armor chest. There we go. Bonk. And... I had to look for it again. Done, done. There we go. But yeah. That is uh, nice. What does this re music remind me of, actually? Because I feel like I get a very big um, anno vibe, actually, from listening to this. I'm not too sure if anyone else really agrees with that. Um, what the fuck? Alright, oh, this bug. Ugh, this bug really annoys the balls out of me. You can't place anything in an area that was previously selected, even though you deselected it as being a place for something to be built. It's, um, a bit annoying. Just a little bit. A little bit annoying. 
Um, however, we're going to turn you into a... No, we don't want you to be a carpenter. You're a shit carpenter. We have a level 4 carpenter, level 4 carpenter. We're going to turn you into a carpenter, David. Legend. We need to start naming people. Oliver, we don't really have anything for you. Cyric, though. We haven't paid any attention to Cyric. He's his own man, okay? He just does his job. Everything goes well. Maybe you need another farmer, because it's starting to get a bit crowded at this farm. I mean, we are going to create a new farm anyway, so probably shouldn't worry too much about it. Also, we need a fireplace. Because it's getting kind of dark, and we got to keep our eye open. Also, no, wait, someone's not foraging anymore. We turn them into a builder, I believe. You were foraging when you level 3 forager, so you were definitely foraging, because I recall you being a level 2 forager. So there you go. We could look through the list, but you know what? Balls to it. And there you go! <laughs> Gets dark very quickly in this world. What I want to do, though, is make a house here. And maybe another one here. And we're not going to do anything with these levels. Maybe we'll mine out this one here. And maybe a little bit here. Actually, what we need is a mine. It's probably what we really, really, really need. Just a, a mine to gather up a, a decent amount of stone. This area, though, this is going to be a housing zone. I'm not exactly sure. The thing is, we can't do housing yet until we've completely finished the walls. And by finished, I mean increase it by about one more layer. Mostly because we need a layer for... Excuse me, I burped twice there. Like, in burps. It's probably not good for me to do that, but well. Uh, yeah, we need an, a layer for the crenellations. And then we need a back layer for where the people can actually fire... Um, from those crenellations or through the crenellations. So yeah, we're gonna need to two blocks, two block wide wall, which also increases defense as well, which is always nice. Instead of the zombies have to fight through one block, which probably doesn't take them an amazing amount of time. Hopefully it does take them ages, but you know we can't really rely upon that. Also, none of them are building this weird brick here, and I have no clue why. Is it too far away? That's my theory. It's just too far away. Lazy bastards. Are you, uh, you're carrying shit right now, and you? No, you're not. Okay. Um, are you carrying anything? Nope. What about you guys? Okay, maybe we just need to designate a build location over here, and then they'll actually go and place the bloody block there. Maybe if we do this, get rid of it, they might come over here. Maybe. They were moving, I think. If I do it again... So yeah, they're moving down here. They're getting all their shit done. So why are they ignoring this? Can they not put anything there? Is it too high? Do you not love me? Is that what it is? I think they don't love me. Bastards. Not much has really been happening this episode, though. We've just sort of been watching things take place. Hmm. So yeah, that's pretty much all we've been doing. All we've been doing, apparently. Uh, we got 117 bricks, a decent amount of cobblestone. What do we need to make these big gates? We probably should find this out. We probably should have found this out first time round. Before we, uh, a castle gate. We need, uh, lots of iron to make a castle gate. We need an engineer as well. And we need six wood planks, four wooden logs, and three iron ingots. Do we have any more iron on us? If we don't, then I'm probably just going to send loads of people to go mining. I think we need to go mining anyway, because we're actually running out of raw stone. Yeah, we're, wow, we're actually running out of raw stone. Never thought that would actually happen, uh, but we do have two iron ingots, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to look for bloody raw here. Uh, iron ore, we don't have any iron ore, which is not good. Also, Wolf is slain by the Necromancer, which is pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um, there's the wolf, it just got like burned alive. All the skeletons were sort of uh, running around it to feast on its corpse. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, he just killed another wolf. Oh no, this wolf is actually running away from the Necromancer. And this is another wolf, okay. It's actually a pack of wolves. We have to deal with those packs of wolves. They are uh, eating a chicken, I believe. Yes, bastards. How dare you eat and feast upon the chicken. Oh well. The only people I really worry for are the fishermen, because they're the ones that are outside. Just all the time. And everyone else is sort of inside. Might be able to make a nice pool and then just sort of try and bug it out so they just fish inside, I'm not too sure. <laughs> but I feel like that might be abusing the game. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It'll be fine. What we need to do is make torches in the town. Just, um, well, mostly just at the gates. But I'm not too sure if there's any management in, that is uh, required when doing that. 
Uh, lamp posts. We can actually make lamp posts. Holy crap. Do we need to manage them? That's the only problem I've got with it at the moment. We just need a uh, lamp post is a common outdoor light source capable of illuminating a large area. I mean, that's nice. It can make a, one of these wall ones. I mean, we need another torch, but that's sort of the ones I'm looking for when uh, at this gate. Lamp post, though. Man, once again, does it require management? I have to, I have to wonder. I have to imagine, I mean, that we need a lot of animal fat to, like, keep them in check, as it were. I mean, I feel like we can make one lamp post here, because it's sort of like... I don't know, the crossroad. It's a nice place to have a lamppost right there. It's all nice. It's nice and pretty. And we could have another lamppost here. That's what we could do here, actually. We could just make loads of lampposts. Oh, crap. You can actually put them on top of a fence. Looks pretty cool, actually. I wonder what that will eventually look like. However, we won't do that. No, we will not do that. We shall instead put a lamppost here. Like, right in the center. I'm not just sure how weird that would look, though. I mean, maybe we just put a lamppost here. I don't know. I feel like keeping that lamppost there. Look at that, though. Holy crap. doesn't really illuminate too much, but it's a nice little effect. I do enjoy it. However, uh, keep a lamppost lit. Uh, keep lamppost unlit. So you can uh, tell it to be unlit or put it on, turn it off, put it on. Well, okay, then. As long as I don't have to keep refueling it with, like, coal or something. Well, I mean, actually, no, I guess it would be cool to actually have that sort of thing in there. Because that way you need, like, a proper resource constantly going in. I actually do like that sort of management involved with uh, running a kingdom. All aspects have to be looked at. You don't just get, like, a day off because, um, you know, oh, I've got no coal today. That means I need something. It's like playing Minecraft, okay? Eventually you run out of coal. You just do. Because you don't mine it up because you can't be bothered. Like me. <laughs> Pretty much like me. It's a beautiful thing indeed. It's a beautiful day in the land of Islay. That was a rhyme. However, we're not doing anything. So, you know what? Let's make a house. Let, let's just make a house. Let's actually make a home for someone. Primarily, I don't think I want to make a home for Islay. But then again, you know, she's the leader. She does need a, a home, a place to call her own. All the rhymes today, guys. I, I don't know what the hell's really going on. I think I'm going insane. Let's just elongate this wall here, though, first. That's what we're going to do. Uh, by one, of course. Just so we don't get any of the calculations wrong. Like if we... Well, we shouldn't. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to actually build beyond that anyway. That's what we're doing here. We're just increasing the size of this wall and doing it to the same wall here. I'm curious if I should increase it by one more layer. Like outside, though. Because I feel like we need like a big wall. A nice thick wall to represent our powers in this realm. Luckily, none of them can actually get up to us, and to us, this is just one up. So it's already acting like a very neat defense right now. We just need to mine up this area here, just so they can't sort of loop up here, which they probably can do, I, can, I would imagine so. Uh, mostly, we need another entrance here, because the pathing is very limited. Apparently, it's, I, I think the reason they're not going for this block here, which doesn't make sense, really, because they went for all of these ones, but mostly it's because they... Uh, it's too far away. Like, that's my imagination on it anyway. I'm just gonna deselect it and then just wait a little while. Uh, maybe it's just a bit broken. Well, it's most probably the case is it's the... I just need to refresh the game and then it will fix itself. Also, the stone hammers are running out very quickly. We need to make those... Yeah, all the stone hammers are gone. We need to make uh, ten more of these stone hammers. Probably, make, probably need to make more than that, to be honest. But oh well. Uh, the carpenters, David, carpenter, David, the carpenter is uh, getting to work on that. And look at the weapon harax though. They're the wrong way around. <laughs> uh, forget about it. That is a that is a story to tell. Fuck. At least the armor's. Uh, at least the armor one is fine. I'm just kind of annoyed that the weapon rack is the wrong way around. Never. It looked like it was the right way around with the white, with the blue outlines, but I guess not. I guess I was mistaken. And the farmer's hoe must have broke. That's not good. Um, we'll make you a copper hoe. Because you know what? I'm a nice guy. Also, you're going to need it, bitch. And I'll make some two stone ones here. And he's just making the stone hammers. He's increasing his carpentry levels, which is very nice. And look at this. All these walls are getting created. We need to actually remove this, this bit of tree here. It's in the way. Look at this lamppost, though. Isn't that nice? Bloody hell. It's just there. It's fantastic. It's just lighting up the way. I feel pretty safe with that lamppost being there. It's cozy. 
It's very cozy, mostly mostly because of the way it illuminates the area. It's very nice. We need to make another one up there, though, I feel. I mean, it's better than the campfire, because it's sort of a similar light. It just stays there in the same way, rather than the campfire sort of uh, pulsing, as you can see right there. It's just like a pulsing light. What we need to do is uh, put another one of... What was that? Oh, no, I think I'm hearing myself. Yeah, I'm I think I'm hearing myself or something like that. Not too sure. Uh, it's gone now, though. That was a bit strange. No one else probably noticed that, though. That is fine. Yeah, we just increased the wall layer here by one, just so we know exactly what this layer, what this wall is going to be like. Wow, it looks really cool, actually, from this angle. And we're going to do the same thing with all these other areas here. But first, we need to make a, a nice house for someone here, uh, primarily for his lay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the game, and we're going to think about how this house is going to work out. How is this house going to work out? I mean, is there a different kind of type? Ugh, start that again. Is there a different type of stone that we can use? I believe there is uh, other kinds of brick. Uh, uh, second brick pattern. These are crafted from compressed stone and dirt that gets heated. Bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's just another pattern. And then it's the same with the cobblestone. I have to wonder how much of a significant change the pattern is. And I kind of want to figure this out, to be honest. I want to make one level two one. And a, but we've already got level one ones. No, wait, one of these ones and uh, one of these ones. Well, two, I guess. And then we'll just watch them go to town on that. We'll make them stop doing that. Uh, also, a copper hoe is needed uh, to be done. So we're going to send you into a blacksmith, get that copper hoe created so that Cyric can get back to work. Oh, well, we already made the stone hoes, I suppose. That's fine. Also, these guys are hanging around in this room here trying to get some nice resources. They're all just, like, talking because, you know, they've got nothing to do. It's like, um, it's like school. You know, think a while back. And the teacher didn't come in, and they just completely forgot about you. That happened three times. Those are alright, although I think I ruined the first one, I'm not too sure. I went out to, uh, get a pee, go for a pee, and they were like, where's your badge? And I was like, you need a badge? Because I forgot you needed a badge. There you go, I is a rebel, man. I don't know, that's what they sound like around here. <laughs> it's what they sound like, I don't know. Oh, uh, well. We'll just, um... At least that's what the chavs sound like to me. To me, that's what they sound like, okay? All day, um, all day, all day long. <laughs> there we go. That's a random discussion right there. What were we doing? What was we doing? Stone, that's what we're doing. We're creating more bricks. There we go. Go, go wild. Just make shit tons of bricks. And now, we're gonna actually going to place these other brick types here. And see what the difference in pattern actually is. Because I want to make these houses out of uh, cobblestone, to be honest. But I want to see if the pattern's actually of a significant change to sort of distinguish itself away from the road. I mean, if it doesn't, I'll probably still use it anyway, because it would look nice. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to use field stone, to be honest. The field stone doesn't look that good. There's not enough detail on it anyway. I don't see it anyway from a from a far enough distance. From a distance, it looks like stone, whereas cobblestone just looks like cobblestone. From no matter where you're looking. So yeah, build. Um, we'll put one of those here. One of those. One of those. And uh, one of those. And then we'll put a cobblestone road. We'll actually... Well, we'll see what it looks like from the angle. And uh, we'll put a level 2 version here. Level 2. It just looks like darker shades, really. That's all I'm seeing from this at the moment. How does that look different? Is that any different? That is no different. At least I don't see the difference. Well, I'm confused. Did I use uh, two of the same type? That might, might be what has just happened here. No, I didn't. Okay. I did use both of these types of stone, though. Let's put another one here. And let's see if it looks any different. However, these uh, stone bricks here look different, just a little bit. No, okay, these don't look different at all in comparison to the other type of cobblestone. So we won't make it out of cobblestone, I think. However, these look good. I have to wonder if we can use this as some sort of a uh, method. Because, I mean, it looks darker. I feel like there's going to be a much richer detail in comparison to these walls. In fact, these walls should really be the darker version. And that's kind of annoying that I didn't really do that. However, this darker version does look stronger 
and much much more detailed so i feel like we might be using that as a wall type because i feel like it's different enough to warrant it being what the wall types are going to be so yeah that's what we're going to do we're going to mine these up and then we're going to make this house at first islay's house obviously she needs a, a nice house to call her own but then, obviously, when we make no more houses and stuff like that, we'll uh, just change it to be other guys' houses. And this is mostly just because we need to make the town flourish. There's no other reason for it. We just need to make it look nice and happy, nice and good going. Because you know what? I have not really done much this episode. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Not, not much has happened. Okay? It's mostly because it takes a long time to do buildings on this. I mean, that's mostly it. And at the same time, I've got to do, like, constructive, very, very fun-sounding commentary. Also, stop making those bricks. Start making the level 2 bricks. Because that's what we're going to need to make this house. Make 150 of them. That'll be a nice and happy from you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back and wait for these guys. Well, we don't need to be right back and wait for these guys to finish. Because they'll have a good amount done so we can get the foundations done. And uh, we need to change the flooring as well to be wooden. 